Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be doing some gaming. So I wanted to show you this game. It's called Nova Drift. It's an early access. Uh, you can pick it up on Steam right now, as well as itch.io. And this is a roguelike space shooter game in the vein of something like Asteroids. And What's cool about it is that you get a variety of upgrades as you play and unlock new abilities and unlock new components and stuff for your ship and then you can customize it to fit your playstyle as you see fit. Another cool thing about this particular game is that it's uh, developed by Jeffrey Nielsen um, who is a one man development team. So that is amazing. Some really, really talented people out there. And I just wanted to show you what this is like. So yeah, let's get going. So this is gonna cost around, uh, around like 20 bucks or so on Steam. Early access, so of course, is getting updates frequently. So there's two modes to choose from, or at least that I have unlocked right now. We've got um, a practice mode, We've got an endless mode, and then we just have the regular, let's go through it all mode. So here we go. Very simple controls. You have the left trigger. I'm using an Xbox controller. It has full controller support. I'm using the left trigger to sort of boost around like this. The left analog stick rotates, and then the right trigger shoots. As you can see, those are some enemies, and if you go off the screen, you just reappear on the other side of the screen. Now, after just killing that that those two enemies, you see that I can upgrade. So I'm going to hit triangle, or I'm going to hit Y. And this is the type of things that we can uh, do here. Now, the first set of upgrades is going to be for the weapon. I can choose from a torrent, a flak, or a pulse. So let's see what we got here. The torrent is a deploy a close range widespread rapid fire lattice of energy we can either do a deadly burst of shrapnel for close range targets kind of like a shotgun or pulse is a short wave magnetic pulse uh let's just uh we can re-roll this as well so let me hit b to re-roll all right so we have grenade we have split shot all right so let's just go with split shot there we go now the only thing about this game uh, since I've been playing it that I wish were different and I think kind of holds me back personally is the controls, the movement controls, because all you can do is thrust and by thrusting like this, to me, it makes it a little difficult to get fine control over your ship. Now, let's check out some more upgrades here. This is for the body. We can have an assault body, which is mostly focused on uh, rate of fire and just assaulting things, weapons. We have a sentinel, which is all about bolstering your shields and your defenses. And then you have a stealth body. Since I'm not all that great with these controls, I'm going to go with sentinel. It's going to give me a shield damage resistance, 20% shield effect radius, and a 15% shield effect power. Now, it will affect my rate of fire as you can see but it makes me more tanky so yeah for these controls it kind of reminds me of like ice levels in video games wow and how once you stop moving you still just sort of drift and that's not something i'm too fond of we got another upgrade so shield halo a searing hot ring burns enemies within its effect radius for 180 damage per second we can do something that reflects enemies weaponry back with boosted power or we can warp when destroyed the shield will teleport me to a, another distance um i'm gonna do this a halo they get too close or more specifically i get too close to them and then they die and see that's another thing you see i just drifted off the screen and I kind of get disoriented when that happens especially if there's a whole lot going on another upgrade regeneration uh, magnitude weapon size weapon damage targeting and we can also change our gear as well in case you're not happy with the build that you have I am going to increase the strength of my hull just like I said I'm running into stuff. 
I am going to make some upgrades to my uh, to my actual weapon eventually. Oh God! And everything is uh, randomly generated, so it's not going to be the same thing twice. I need to get this guy because he's just going to keep spawning more and more enemies. All right, so we got another upgrade. Let me kind of get out of the way here. Even though I can upgrade, I just kind of like, I just want to keep shooting these guys until I can. Okay, now I'm going to upgrade. Okay, so we can get an ally, increase our blast radius, rapid fire. Uh, let's see. Let's get, uh... Let's get an autonomous ally. You see it? There he goes. Oh, we got another upgrade. Okay. Improved thrusters, targeting, faster shield cooldown, mines, and rapid fire. Let's just do some rapid fire. Gain back what we lost when I chose one of those others. Oh, we got another upgrade. You see how fast these upgrades come, you know? Uh, let's see here. Velocity, blast radius. Juggernaut, yeah, this, ooh, that sounds good. Knockback damage to enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're on wave 15. And this game is very lightweight, you know. I think Steam said that this comes in at like under 200 megabytes. As you can see it runs quite well. It's not demanding. It won't be demanding on your machine at all. I got my little buddy here putting in some work. Level up. Oh, let's get this asteroid out the way. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, so we can have some drones. Warpath, gain stacks, two weapon projectiles, faster shield cooldown. Let's get some more drones out here. Ooh, this is new. D-pad left, D-pad right, select construct. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, hold on, there's a lot going on. Oh, oh, I just walked right into that one, or flew right into that one, really. Up oh, here he goes again. All right, we got him. We got him. Okay, double team, reinforced drones, warpath, absorption, reduces hull damage taken from his by three. All right, so we're going to get even tankier. All right, so there's my little drones that I constructed. I'm not too sure how I even did that, but I did it, so let's just be happy. All right, so here's some snake-looking enemies. Come on, let's get them. All right, glad that these drones are putting in some work. Whoa. Yeah, occasionally random stuff like that will happen. All right, so let's do another mod. Um, some more tankiness. Why not? We're just, we're just going down that path. Wish I had a more fancier weapon to show you. I mean, I could. Heat-seeking missiles. Um, sure, let me just show you just for, just for the sake of this. Now, you see as I'm just rolling around doing nothing, you see how that shield or how that missile counter just keeps going up at the bottom of the screen where, like, my health and stuff is? So, whenever I want, I can just start shooting. And I'm just going to release all those missiles that I have stored up. So that is awesome. It kind of kind of has you wait for that opportune moment. Otherwise, you know, you're just you still shoot missiles, but you know, it's nothing like the massive barrage that you would get normally. Uh, so let's see. Um, let's switch over to the rail gun so you can see what that's like. 
and it's exactly what you would think. Now, this is something that takes accuracy, and maybe this would be something better suited for the stealth ship. Because with the stealth ship, when you don't move, you become invisible. So I can see you getting the drop on enemies and sniping them from afar, which is something that's really interesting for a type for a game like this. You really wouldn't expect something like that, but that's not really my style. So I'm gonna switch back over to the salvo. And take these enemies on here. Uh, this game came out at the end of March in early access, so it's still fairly new. And I'm, uh, you know, pretty looking forward to what they do here. Something that I think will really make this game just stand out if they had optional control schemes so that it can be more of a traditional twin stick shooter, whereas uh, you can keep the thrust, but just make it so that um, I can control the movement with the left analog stick. That would be great. Oh my God, I'm just running into stuff. Let's check out my upgrades here. Uh, blast radius, I don't need that. Um, nanotech reconstruction. Yeah, why not? It's something that'll help out my friendly drones. It does have boss battles. I believe I did fight one boss when I played this earlier. I died mostly because you know I couldn't manage with the controls and you you do get a feel for it you know I just think at the very beginning it just sort of it, it definitely will hold you back let's see what else we got here let's just do this warpath thing about getting these stacks since up uh, since I am killing enemies frequently see that so I'm gonna sit back let my missiles get stronger so he's going to shoot these beams out and this is like when your fine control becomes really important all right so if i can just get my bearings oh they're fanning out i'm going the other side of the screen oh god I lost my shield aura. I don't know if it generates vulnerability. I guess it's those sparkly bits on them. Uh, but I can't quite get in there because I'm so focused on. I'm so focused on like the controls finding it hard to you know really hurt him the way that I'm supposed to be hurting him up oh, I'm on the other side whoops uh, see I uh, having a little bit of trouble here I don't really know where I am Am I supposed to be shooting these things? Okay, that's hurting. I can see that. Nope, don't touch it. Don't touch the laser. Alright, so if we can just get in there. Trying my best here, guys. Woo! We got him. Upgrade, don't mind if I do. Evolution. Uh, let's see. Burst fire. Shield stuff. Improved thrusters. Rocket drones. Sheer durability. Magnetism. Let's just go with evolution. I like, I like how that sounds. All right. So we took care of that. This is my best run yet. And I'm glad it's happening as I'm recording this video. So yeah, this is quite an enjoyable game. You know, it's got some good space space music, if that makes any sense. You know how some music you 
can just say like, yeah, that sounds like something that would type of music that would make you think about space. Uh, let's just increase my shield durability. Why not? We are on a roll. Oh, okay. Got a little comment there. Now, there's another thing that's like a black hole, or no, there's a singularity that appears from time to time. And if you fall into that singularity, then of course, you will die. And I did run into that singularity. Oh, guys at the bottom. So the best thing about this game, I'm running into mines. The best thing about this game would be to experiment with all the different builds and you know really just find your ideal play style. And perhaps you'll get to a point, wait, where am I? Kind of like in The Binding of Isaac where you find just the perfect build that makes you unbelievably, unbelievably powerful. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's see. Let's do some burst fire. Let's... Yeah, see, that's good. Get us some more. Oh, that was close. Get us some more missiles going. Oh, man, these guys are... These guys mean business. All right, who are you? Let me get some distance. Build up my missiles and yeah, that'll do it. I'm gonna try to take this to maybe like the whatever the next boss would be if I make it that far, and then we will call it a wrap because oh, is it like a tracker? Whew. No. I know I got an upgrade here. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, velocity, weapon velocity. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's do some weapon velocity. Shoot those missiles out faster. Right, I'm gonna have to get behind these guys. And boom. Yeah, this control scheme definitely does grow on you. But it has to grow on you before you can really start to feel like you're coming in to your own. Oh, I guess this is another boss. All right, so if we can take this guy down, that, oh man, he's doing like, shh, pulses. I gotta stay out of your way. Build up these missiles. I'm gonna try to hit them with like a hundred of them, if I can. Hold it, hold it. Oh, Jeremy. All right, release, release, singularity. No, this is what I was talking to you about. All right, let's just keep our distance. Don't get pushed into the singularity. I wonder if you can push him into the singularity. That would be awesome if you could. All right, I earned a reroll, I guess, just in case I don't like my build. All right, let's go back after this guy. So we are inflicting some damage. He's once again doing these pulses. I'm just gonna try to keep my distance. Stick and move. Oh, yeah, I think we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Guess he killed my drone. Oh, another singularity. Uh, okay, don't don't go off screen. Don't go off the screen. Don't go off the screen. No. All right, singularity is gone. And uh, hey, I guess we beat him. Awesome. Omni shield. Yeah, so you, you pretty much get, get the, the point of what uh, Nova Drift is all about. Well, this guy is uh, pretty strong. So yeah, once again, you can pick this up on Steam, itch.io. 
it'll be continuously updated and just to be in early access you know this is this is already shaping out to be a pretty darn good game a nice fun time waster and it's quick to get into and we're uh, really busy these days so what more can you ask for all right so that's going to be all for me you guys so thank you so much for watching this video and until next time i'm jeremy and i will talk to you later